opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick buzz's youtube channel and press that bell icon now i guess when you look back to the first test in kanpur you look at the test in mumbai and no more none more so than ajaz patel and again as i said with ash when i talk about with with ashwin just look at the performances rather than the overall result of a test match and you've got to look at the performance of ajaz patel and say it is phenomenal the most wickets by anyone ever in a test match against india 14 to pass in surya and botham um who did that at the wankhede stadium as well this is just an incredible effort from a new zealand spinner to turn up in india and take 10 wickets in the first innings four in the second and 14 in total celebrate it we need to celebrate these milestones in this wonderful game that we love this has happened twice before and now only three times so we've got to celebrate this and make sure this is you know an achievement that is worth celebrating dk surely oh 100% just his demeanor just him as a personality i saw the interview with ashwin as well brilliant i think uh, he's a great guy very hard working he's gone through the grind obviously migrating from india to new zealand and then obviously doing the hard yards with his father so on and so forth but most importantly we have to understand in kanpur the bowlers who did the damage for new zealand in a big way were the fast bowlers the spinners didn't contribute much at all so obviously coming into this test in wankhede again they would have obviously hope the medium paces will deliver again because the, this wicket is known to aid fast bowlers as much as it aids spinners whereas in kanpur everybody knows that spinners can only get wickets if you take a domestic mm. game there it's only the spinners ruling the roost there consistently it's only in the early in the morning when there's a bit of dew and haze that the fast bowlers get wickets but when you come to new bombay there's bounce in the wicket there's a bit of carry there's a bit of lateral movement a lot of the times and hence the fast bowlers come into play but ajas patel i think took it on him took it upon himself to deliver the goods bowl long spells bowl brilliant spells where he was able to stitch together maiden after maiden which put the pressure on the batters at the same mm. time any mistake that the batters made i think ajas patel was there on top of them to pounce on them and make sure they paid for it and and it's not like he got uh, random joes out these are good players of spin who obviously have played spin all through their life to come and pick up all 10 wickets is a phenomenal achievement and you know go on to pick four in the second inning brilliant as well So you can see that he has a good head on his shoulders. He knows what to do when the ball is turning. He's aware of his skills. Aware of his. I most importantly, what I liked about him was I think he is aware of his weaknesses as well. Areas which he knows that you know he probably is not strong in. He accepts yeah. it and keeps bowling in the areas that he's strong in, which is great to see. And I'm sure he has a, a good future with New Zealand when it comes to spin yeah. bowling. Yeah.